efforts are underway to reestablish passenger rail service in northwest Florida. Right now, city leaders are working on the first step, a grant application. As WKRG News 5's Cody Long reports, the Pensacola group using the old Amtrak station as a museum is pulling out of their lease. A local nonprofit has turned the old Amtrak station into a museum honoring women veterans. They celebrated the opening in 2021, but last week the group sent a letter to the city requesting to terminate the lease. Obviously, they are passionate about, um, you know, honoring veterans and and all of the trainings and everything that they that uh, they were doing on site. Um, you know, they they just have. Uh, you know, different plans for the future. Mayor DC Reeves said this week in his news conference, as they try to bring back passenger rail service, the lease termination is just a coincidence. That departure has nothing to do with any interest um, with Amtrak. Anything that would happen with Amtrak with us would be years from now, uh, more than likely. And uh, there was already a there was already a clause in the lease that if passenger rail service came back, um, that we would be able to. Uh, and that lease. The city council voted Thursday night to send a letter to the Federal Railroad Administration to show their support for Amtrak. Mayors from New Orleans to Tallahassee and beyond um, are also putting their letters in, so this will be uh, an additional help to getting this thing done. In the letter, the city notified the federal government of the city's intent to apply for a half a million dollar grant, which is the first step in getting Amtrak service. In Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.